Content moderation is a feature Discord is implementing to replace Automod, at least in terms of blocking words. This is actually another beta feature, but amazingly I actually got this in my server today. It's always nice to get a feature when it's in beta, especially when I like to make videos on them. So without wasting any more time, let's take a first look at content moderation. <laughs> So when I logged on today, this was the first time that I've actually seen this feature. I had no idea I'd get it today, I just happened to hit the jackpot and got it luckily quite early. Bear in mind you are learning this feature as I am, because I haven't had much time to look at it before this. I mean I did just make a whole video on it like 2 minutes ago, but I recorded in the wrong file format, but we don't talk about that. So the pop-up I got earlier said block words and phrases. Keep your server safe by setting up rules that block messages before they are sent. Now before we get into it, I know that it's not actually under moderation, it's under a new tab called content moderation. Either the pop-up or the server settings is lying to me. Now if you notice it actually says by setting up rules that block messages before they are sent. Now usually auto mod bots won't be able to detect that you're typing a message until you sent it and then they will delete it. But what's unique about the fact that this is built in is Discord will actually detect what you're going to send before you actually send it. That probably doesn't make much of a difference but I just thought I'd point that out. Alright so I'm done talking about that, let's actually go look at it. So. I'm going to go up to my server settings here, server settings, and the pop-up said it's under moderation, but that is not true, it's not, it's under content moderation. So the fact that it's in beta means what you see in this video might change, but I'm going to shut up and let's actually look at it. So content moderation, moderate words and phrases, monitor messages for certain words or phrases and automate a response when they are found. Use commonly flagged words or make your own. Now this one here, I did not set this up. This is what the tab will look like when you open it, once you have access to this feature. By the time you have access to this feature, it might actually look quite a bit different. But at the moment, if you have access to this feature, this is what it will look like when you open it, the first time you open it. So commonly flagged words, this is raw here. So basically these blocks here are rules, or keyword filters, whatever. And this is pre-generated by Discord, so this is like the default one. And oddly you can delete it, even though I don't know how you get it back after that. And I don't know why you can copy ID, but you can. And there's this button to edit the rule, but that's the same thing as clicking on the block right here. So this is currently deactivated and it says block message, but because it's deactivated, it won't actually do that. But let's click that and open it, or you can click and edit rule. So rule name, commonly flagged words. So there are three options here. So the first thing is you need to tell Discord what to look for. And then you tell Discord how to respond to that once it's found someone disobeying the rule. And then three is whitelisting. If you didn't know what that is, I'll get onto it in a minute, but it's quite simple. So the first thing is select the type of language. So there are three options here and you can select whichever ones you want. You can select multiple. And if you actually click these dark boxes here, these are spoilers. If you click it, it will give you some examples of words that Discord will block automatically. So you can't manually type in the words you want to block. You have to make your own rule for that. It depends if your view on is the exact same approach as Discord has. But you might think some words are fine that Discord doesn't, so you, you want to make your own rule. I don't know how strict these filters are, but you can always test around with that. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to get demonetized. And once you select one of these, let's just say I want to select severe profanity. So I want to filter that. Whatever words are under here, I'm not going to show you. Discord will block those. So there are two responses you can have here. You cannot automatically, at the moment anyway, ban someone when they disobey this rule. At the moment, you can only block the message or send an alert. So what block message does is, it prevents the message from containing any of these words here from being posted. You can select this one here as well. So you can block it and send an alert, or you can just send an alert, or you can just block it, obviously. So what send an alert does is it sends an alert containing the flagged message to a chosen channel. So I'm going to show you exactly what that looks like. So it's just Discord's way of notifying you. Unfortunately, it doesn't ping you or anything. You have to manually look in that channel. So it may be set it to a channel that people don't normally talk in. So ideally you want to send this to like a staff log channel or something like that. So let's say I want to send an alert. So I'm going to start with that. So click that here. I'm going to post it to my private channel just for this example. And you can edit channel again if you want. So you can change your channel. And then this section here. So three, add exempt roles or channels. And this is an optional field. So earlier I called this a whitelist. So basically you can select channels here or you can select roles here. So if I pick a role here, basically people with this role here will not be affected. So they can send it freely and it won't send an alert or block the message if you have that selected. It says here, users with admin and managed skill permissions are always excluded from filter roles. So if you're an owner or if you have the admin permission, you won't be affected by this. So you don't have to add like admin roles or anything unless those roles do not have the administrator permission. And as I was saying earlier, I don't want to get demonetized, so I'm not actually going to use this role here. I'm going to set my own one up quickly. So if you want to enable this, you just click this button here and click save changes. But I don't want to do that. So I'm going to create my own custom keyword filter. So I'm going to click this button here and I can give it any name I want. So this has much more customization than the first one. So I'm going to call this fruit. So let's say I don't like people talking about fruit in my server. Let's say my server is about vegetables and I don't want people talking about fruit in my server. 
So God forbid anyone talks about tomatoes. So I can type any words I want here. So you can enter one or more words or phrases. So it doesn't just have to be a word, it could be a sentence. So let's say you don't like people saying you suck or something like that, you can type that in here. So I'm just gonna type some fruits here. And as it is, this is very strict. So if you type apple in here and someone types the word apples, it won't pick it up, I don't think anyway. But if you want that to happen, you can put an asterisk at the beginning or end of a word to scan for partial matches. I don't know how specific it gets, so you'd have to play around with that. Preferably you want a second account, because obviously if you're the owner you won't be able to test it out, because Discord will ignore you. So I'm going to type some words in here, and I'm going to type some plural ones as well, and let's do that. Now I know there are more fruits than that, but those are just some examples of it here. So usually this down here is a character limit. But in this case, it's a word limit. I've typed in 10 words, and you can type in a 1,000. I can't think of a 1,000 fruits, but that is quite a lot. But I don't know how many rules you can make. I don't know if there's a limit to that. There probably is. There's a limit with everything on Discord. And the reason I put commas is because you have to separate words or phrases with a comma. Or a new line, actually. And it says here you have to put a space in between each word as well. So comma and then a space. That's how you separate words or phrases. So what I want to happen is when people type one of these fruits here, let's say if they type one of those words, I either want to block the message or send an alert. So in this case, I'm just going to send an alert and I'm going to send it to my private channel. And again, here is the whitelist I've already been through that. So let's save changes. Here's my new rule, fruit, and it has 10 words in it. And it will just give a summary of what happens. It will send an alert. So I'm going to hop onto my other account to see what it will look like if I'm the one sending the message that is filtered, assuming that I'm not actually one of the whitelisted people or roles. So let's say I'm a guest and I want to talk about fruit, but that's not allowed in this server. So when I type that, nothing will happen at the moment because I selected send an alert and I didn't choose to block the message. So people will see this message and they'll probably get quite annoyed at me. So if you don't select to block the message, then basically that will leave some evidence. Unless I delete that message, of course. Now, as a staff member, let's see what I see. So I'm in a channel that I set the alerts to. Automod has flagged a message. This is the account here. This is the user. Thank you very much. And I type the word orange on my other account. So the user typed the word orange and that's not allowed in the server. And it says exactly what channel it was in and what rule it breaks. So that's quite nice. Very simple summary. And it doesn't take up too much space. And then here you have a button that allows you to take action. So if you want to ban someone, you have to manually do it. Serious? At the moment anyway. I'm sure they're a feature so you can ban people automatically. But there are these actions here, but if you want more actions, then you can just right click the name here and you get more. Now, as the guest, what happens if I delete my message? Let's delete it. Okay, it's gone. But the flagged message alert still stays here. Basically, they cannot escape from your rule. Now, I'm going to go back into the content moderation section and I'm going to change it this time to block message. So I'm going to uncheck this here because we already know what that looks like. So I'm just going to block the message. So it will prevent the user's message containing these words here from being posted. And I'm going to save that. That's something you should bear in mind. You cannot delete these messages. So let's say I come back another day and I talk about cherries. Right, in this case, because I selected to block the message, if you're the user abusing the role, you will get this red background here. It says this message cannot be posted because it contains language prohibited by the server. Man, I recorded this video twice and so my jaw really hurts right now. But let's keep going. Only you can see this and dismiss message. So it's like when you try and send a message to uh, someone who has blocked you or something, it'll say only you can see this, dismiss message, and it will go away. As you can see, it didn't send me an alert because I told Discord not to. But you can have that selected as well as blocking the message. So, that is content moderation. So what do you think about this new feature? Are you still going to rely on bots for Ultimod? We have yet to see how Discord will change this feature as it evolves. I should have mentioned this earlier, but I actually have no idea when this feature is officially coming out. If you found this video helpful, if you didn't know about content moderation before this, please drop a like, I really appreciate that. And until next time, see you next time.